hi guys welcome back to my channel hope you're having a wonderful weekend so far i wanted to do a little quick cook with me and show you a simple and easy crock pot recipe it's literally just lasagna in a crock pot and it turns out so good this is perfect for the days if you have things you need to do you can just whip this up real quick put it in the crock pot and come back in a couple hours and dinner is ready if you would like to see how i made this easy recipe keep on watching first things first you're going to want to brown your meat in a pan you can also use Italian sausage if you would like. We just prefer ground beef. When my meat's about halfway cooked, then I add in my onions. You can add in whatever veggies you prefer. We just do onions and keep it simple. Now I'm just gonna add and stir in my sauce and turn the temperature down to low just so it kind of sizzles a little bit before I start to prepare the crock pot. Now here I'm just gonna get some ricotta cheese and then some of the mozzarella cheese and mix it together in a bowl. There's no certain amount that I do. I just do kind of like a cup at first of each, mix it together, and then if I need more, once I'm starting to stack my layers, then I'll go ahead and add in more cheese if I need. Now once I got my cheese mixture together, I laid down a layer of sauce in the crock pot and then I started breaking down my noodles to lay my first layer down. It will not be perfect, just break them to fit the best that you can in there. And also you do not cook these noodles beforehand. They will cook while they are in the crock pot. And then now I'm just going to put my layer of sauce on top of that first row of noodles. And then I'm gonna add on ricotta cheese and then the mozzarella cheese on top of that and then just keep going. I did about four layers of this. And this is how it should look once you are done building your layers. And then I'm just going to place the lid on and I turned it on high and it cooked in about two hours. Okay, now that it is done cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and add on my last layer of mozzarella cheese and let it cook for about five to 10 more minutes. Once the cheese is done melting, I just finish it and top it off with some parsley flakes. Now for the garlic cheesy bread, I just take softened butter, 
garlic salt and parsley flakes mix it together in a bowl and then i brush it across the bread and tap it with the cheese and place it in the oven at temp about 400 and i cooked it for about 10 minutes and it turned out so good you can easily add a side salad to this to complete this dinner it turns out so good if you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you're new to my channel welcome i would love to have you here don't forget to turn on those bell notifications so you never miss a video I thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.